Yo, what's up? Welcome to Access Unlock the Show. I am your girl, Kata Truth. And in studio today, we have the one, the only, Dallas Rising artist, Kimo Ginobili. What's up, Kimo? Trap, how you doing, man? Trap, 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 big trap. Here, man. How you doing? Man, I am doing fantabulous, and it's an honor for me to be on the show with you. Man, it's an honor for me to be on the show with you, man. I'm glad you had me. Yes. One thing, you know, I got to start it off right. Why do you have this weed tied to your hair? Tell everybody about that and what's the thing with that? Man, I'm the walking gas station, man. Basically, I'm just advertising and marketing. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I uh, represent the trap. So when I'm out and about, you know, you ain't got to look too far for it if you in need. You know what I'm saying? It's just a way of already promoting and showing you what what's up before you even have to ask okay well we appreciate that you don't have to do much marketing because your stage presence says a lot about uh, what you bring you. to the table so how does it feel being a rising artist a future dallas legend how does it feel that people label you that way man it to be honest it feels it I, to be honest, it's surreal. Like I can't, I can't even be, I can't even lie. Uh, this is something I always kind of dreamed about, and something I've been working on since I got into the music, you know. And for people to start recognizing what I've been doing lately, man, that's it's been a blessing, man. It's really been a blessing. I've been uh, overly blessed and, and grateful for everything that I've been getting and seeing so far with what's going on while I've been on my journey. Okay, so you say your journey. How long have you been in the game, and how did you get started? Uh, at, to be honest, I probably been doing music or playing with music all my life. But uh, as far as like seriously or you know getting out here doing shows and showing people, put my money into it, you know, probably like three, like three, four years. Okay. What has been your inspiration to keep going? Uh, me. Oh. You know, straight up, my inspiration to keep going is me. I I started it and uh. Once I started it, uh, I started also getting feedback and receiving feedback and uh, getting people, fans and people who like to hear my music, you know. So once that started happening, it's kind of like I couldn't stop because every time I wanted to or thought about it, somebody would text me or hit me up and be like, hey, bro, you got a new song or send me that song that you did. Ooh, I like that mug. Ooh. So it's really the people, me and the people. You know, the people really keep me going. That's that's the main thing. It's the people. If I didn't have the people telling me or supporting me, I probably wouldn't. You know, I probably wouldn't be doing it. But it's the people that make me do it because I see how I make them feel. So I, I, I just like making them happy. Man, your stage presence is amazing. Man, I was like, yo, you talking about you got the gas tied to your hair. When you yeah. don't is the gas. Like, Thanks. If you not Thanks. That's, that, that's what I am selling. I don't sell this. You, I'm selling me. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. what I do sell. I sell me. So you're right. I am the gas. I am. <laughs> so are you an independent artist? Yes, ma'am, I am. Would you ever think about signing to a label? Uh, Those are things I think about. You know, I, I think about especially when I first started, uh, I thought about it heavily. Uh, but right now I'm not really sure just cause of how the internet is today. Uh, you can probably, you, you know, we can make a lot of money on our own without having to do all that. But, um, I, I won't lie if the, if, if the sounds right and the, the business is right and somebody come to me with a good deal and it's, it's good all across the board for me and my family and the people behind me, I, I, I would think about it. Already, but you know what? You're doing so much on your own. I don't even think you need a label. Just have your team of people that I always see you because you always out moving and shaking and doing your thing. You don't need a label because you you gonna win anyway. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I uh I, I've been blessed to have motion, and, and it's kind of what I wanted. I'm I'm glad that it's happening like this because uh like you say, I I I feel as though I don't really uh need the label per se. You know, I just need to sharpen up the things that I got going on 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 my business end so that we can really go go forward as, as we need to. Already. So are you originally from Dallas? No, I was born in Texas County. I was born in Texas County, Texas, man. And I moved up to Dallas when I was nine years old to Pleasant Grove. 
So that's that's where I've been up in Dallas since nine years old and went to high school in Mesquite. You feel what I'm well, saying? I so know them, he ain't nothing to play with y'all because he from Pleasant Grove. Oh, no, for sure. Y'all already them. know Grove South Texas, man. Stand up. Y'all already know what's going on. For real. Do, by you being which Pleasant Grove is a uh, kind of Dallas, suburb of Dallas, whatever you want to call it, however you want to put it, would you say it's hard to move up in the Dallas market right now? Or what do you think? Well, to be honest, right now, I feel like uh, – the Dallas market is, is, is what's popping right now, mm -hmm. me personally. Uh I know we might not have the big labels or the 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 big platforms as other cities or states, but I, I feel like Dallas right now, what we got going on is what's up. I, I feel like we're going up. Like we we lit right now. Everybody in the city lit. It's a lot of light being shined on the artists, uh big and upcoming down here. So I feel like the light is kind of shed this way right now. So I I feel like it's all right. Okay. You send me a lot of dope music, and I've heard some of your music before you sent it to me. What track are you pushing now? What's your project? Uh, To be honest, I got all my tracks, to be honest, are all singles. I, I, I don't think I dropped no, nothing that people don't want to hear right now. So uh, No Lights, Trap Gatsby, them the ones that uh kind of took off if, if i would say no lights took me out first that's my single single you know that's the one that people gravitated to first no lights and then uh from that buzz i i went into uh the next single which was trap gatsby you know what i'm saying and then got a fire video to dose swing and man i was supposed to send you that link man I, I i i didn't get to send it over i was trying to get them radio edited versions for you but uh dose swinging is that's live. Uh, I I can't just pick one. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I think I'm jamming. Oh, you don't have to think you jamming, baby. You are jamming. <laughs> like I said, you got that gas for real. So, but who are some of the producers you like working with? Uh, to be honest, uh, I go on uh, Beats by Yay. What's his name? Beats by Yayo. Uh, Complex produced by Complex. Uh, then them, them a couple of YouTube producers that I started off uh, finding their YouTube, you know, first. Uh, then I went to, I got a couple of beats from, shout out to OG Lincoln. You know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, my engineering producer, Lunda. Lunda Jacobs over there at Villa Cooler. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Ziggy made it. You feel what I'm saying? We got one coming for y'all, man. Ziggy made it, man. That's a platinum producer. You feel what I'm saying? Out of Dallas, Texas, man. Shout out to Ziggy Made It, man. We got one coming for y'all. Uh, but right now, Z Ziggy's teed up right now. But as far as in the city, that's about... No, nope, that ain't it. Shout out uh, Real in the Fields. You know what I'm saying? Real in the Fields. D Fields, my boy sent me a couple. You know what I'm saying? I, it's a couple of them out here. I, I mess with all the producers, though. I just, I, I just need the beats. I need them in my email. I love them all. Already. Already. So what's the next project you dropping? Because you always got fire new music. What's coming up for you? Well, I'm currently working on my tape, uh, which is called The Walking Gas Station. I don't have a date on that. I ain't going to give y'all no date because y'all be trying to do me wrong when I put dates on stuff. Y'all be on me. <laughs> so it's The Walking Gas Station, man. It's going to be fire, man. When it do drop, it's going to be heat out here in the station, man. Y'all know why I call it The Walking Gas Station. Everybody know me. They know what, what I've been pushing, my brand. And that, that's what I've been on right now, the walking gas station, and I'm just branding myself and trying to up my up my ante right now before I get ready to drop, so it makes sense. Okay. How many singles are, are going to be on the walking gas station, and what kind of sound do we, can we expect to hear from it? Oh, man, if you ask me, I think they, the whole tape is full of singles. I think this is a single from the first one to the last one, I, to be honest. I I, I really don't think. like 12 of them? What you putting on there? How many? I ain't, I can't, I ain't telling you. I ain't telling you. <laughs> you, I, you definitely, no, whenever right. you drop it, you're going to have to come back to Access Unlock and give us the scoop. <laughs> we need to know what's going on. No, nah, for real, for real, for real. No, nah, but it, it is going to be. It's, that's a good a good number about 10 to 12 you know 10 to 12 maybe 15 somewhere up in there i got i almost got that many songs already ready i just don't know how many i'm gonna actually put on the tape you know what i'm saying uh i i i feel like all my songs hard so i feel like if i put them all on one tape 
it'll, it'll kind of be like, woo, it's, yeah. it's going to be tough to top that the, the, the next time. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to see. Yeah, I, I might go ahead and do it because I, I feel like I am good enough to come up with some more stuff. So I just might give y'all everything and then just start from scratch. You know what I'm saying? So we, we'll see. We'll see. But, but it's heat, though. It's heat. And they're right. waiting for it. So any special guests you're going to have on there? Oh, yeah, I got a couple features on there, man. I got my boy Finesse Kenny on there, man. I got a uh, shout out my boy Lucci. He on there, man. Uh, 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 just a couple OGs. Uh, just did one with Stiff DJ. I might, I might throw that on there. Yeah, I got a, you know, I got a, on my tape, I probably got about two to three features, and that's probably the ones right now. But I really want to get some more. I've been trying to get some uh some heavy hitters in there, man, to get on this mug because I know it's gonna go, and I really want them to be a part of it, man. So I've been trying to reach out to a couple of heavy hitters and get them on there, man. But so far, I got Mr. Lucci. Shout out, Mr. Lucci. Shout out for Ness Kenny. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got going on. Okay. And another question I have to ask you. I want to put you on the hot seat, which we do on Access Unlocked. Don't don't look confused now. Now, nah, just playing. Oh, I ain't tripping. <laughs> we just going to ask you a couple of questions. You know, it's nothing major. Go hot ahead. seat question number one. If you had to work with any artist, who would it be and why? Trap Boy Freddy. Why Trap Boy? Which I like Trap Boy. That's a doubt. doubt I, 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 I say Trap Boy Freddy because of what we represent and, uh, I, I I feel like um as far as as motion in the city and the, the grasp of what we got going on in the city, he's he's one of the people who who Dallas, you know who Dallas, he's a real real Dallas native who came up and people know his story, you know, and they gravitate to him and can't nobody really knock him off what he got going on. I feel like we kind of like the same people on, on different ends, you get what I'm saying? But and we both kind of Representing that trap, you know what I'm saying. I've been trying to get trapped for a long time, but uh, I really want to feature with Trap Boy, man. That's my guy. For I just, I just, I just mess with what he got going on because I really understand what he's talking about. Okay, hot seat question number two. Outside of yourself in Trap Boy, Freddie, name at least three rising artists you see in Dallas, and why? Rising artists, I see. Of course, we see South Dallas Kiki. We got Rashad King. We got Pay Wade. Okay. We got LaQ900. Mm -hmm. Step we on got, I, To be honest, I'd be naming all day, but we got free game. We got. Mr. Beck Daddy, we got Sleepy Goose, I Pablo, we uh, everybody, so everybody, man, right everybody, man, so everybody in the outside, man, from 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 the top to the low, Jelly Beans, the uh, all the females that's popping, eight, bro, all of them, you know what I'm saying? We going crazy for real. Okay, tell me going crazy they can in the city, like all of them, bro. I, I hate that I start. I shouldn't even start naming them. I hate that I start naming them because. People gonna feel played that I didn't say their name, but I'm I'm talking about all y'all, bro. Please don't get mad at me. I'm I'm talking about everybody. They can't get mad because I said name three and you named about about fifty. I know they can't get mad, but they do. You know they do. Yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just led to be known that I ain't trying to forget nobody. I just be on here for a long time naming people and that it is. Yeah. Now tell the people where they can find your music. Oh, they can find me everywhere. Any platform, just type in Kimo Ginobili, K E M O G I N O B I L I. I had to spell that slow because some people be like, they don't know how to spell it. But yeah, just tap in any word, Kimo Ginobili, on all platforms. Outside of the music, is there anything else you have popping, like a clothing line, anything yes, like that? Yes, ma'am. Highway. I'm Tell sorry, I got, got my stuff tucked up in my stuff right now, man. But I do got my Highway merch out, man. Got my hoodies and stuff going on, man. It was twenty dollars when I first dropped because I was just trying to see if they was gonna go, but the prices was gonna went up, man. That ain't forty. You get what I'm saying? But good quality, good material. Mm -hmm. It's the winter time, man. It's it got all different types of colors. You know what I'm saying? So 
it's been going good. So that, that's my merch, man. Highway, you can get it from me right now. I haven't put up my website or nothing yet. So tap in with me on my Instagram, or if you got my number, hit me up. You know, we're going to get you right. Highway. Already. Highway. Last I see question. What advice would you give an up-and-coming artist who want to get to the level that you're on? Because right now keep, we see you popping. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, bro. Like, that's that's the <clears throat> that's the only thing I can really say is, is keep going because that that be the problem with a lot of people. It, it ain't that a lot of people don't have the talent or can't do it. It's just that they stop right when they break through and finna come through because they felt like they done went through so much or they just done got fed up. And I just want to tell the order at the at that moment when you feel fed up, that's when something's finna happen. So if you keep going, you you'll start seeing you'll start seeing it all come back, man. You got to work for it; it'll, it'll come back. So I my my advice is don't quit, keep going. Okay, which I love all your music that you sent. Do you write your own music? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What yes, kind of zone are you in when you write this music? I'm high. Okay. So long when, I, when I write my music, man, I, most of the time I'm in the studio by myself. I, I ain't going to say I'm always people be in there sometimes. I'm sorry. I got to put my phone on this charger. It's going to die on me. All right. But most of the time I'm in the studio by myself. Uh. I smoke smoke weed, man, and I just get into that zone. Uh, he play the beat, and I kind of come up with the music in the studio. Okay. Now introduce your song, and we finna get into it. Okay. Which one you got? Up, which one you got trap. queued up over there? Trap. It's, it's trap. A, all of them trap. Is it the no trap lights or the trap gas? Gatsby. Trap Gatsby. All right. Now, here we go, man. It's Kimo Ginobili, Mr. Private Eye, the one I banned it. Goddamn, I can't stand it. The Walking Gas Station, man. And this is one of my hit singles, Trap Gatsby, coming to you now live from the trap, man. Go ahead and run that trap. Already, and we're out. Okay, let me get off the stage.